Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our latest beta channel insider build for this week, build 22635.3276 rolling out, which Microsoft pushed out on the 4th of March, which was once again late yesterday in my region. And this latest beta channel build has been rolled out with the update KB5034857. Now, because we have already started receiving our Moment 5 feature update in the stable channel, I'm not too much actually going on for this week uh, in the beta channel, which is expected. But uh, just to go through some of the key highlights, if you do find yourself in the beta channel or, or are interested in possible new features rolling out in up and coming stable versions. Now, first of all, um, nearby sharing in the beta channel if we just head to that quickly, and basically helps you share files, photos, and links with nearby Windows devices, as many of you may well know. Nearby sharing has two fixes that have rolled out. First of all, the first fix is they fixed an issue where devices with long names weren't shown in nearby sharing. And there's also uh, the second fix is also regarding names where they fixed an issue where device names may unexpectedly show a whole lot of different question marks instead of the name. So two Name issues have been addressed this week in the beta channel for nearby sharing. And then they also fixed an issue with the task manager, where there was an issue impacting the task manager's reliability, where apparently um, it was frequently crashing. And this has been quite a major issue in the beta channel. So um, apparently now that issue is addressed, where they fixed an issue impacting task manager reliability. So that may be good news if you do find yourself in the beta channel. Now I would say the key highlight for this week in the beta channel is that Microsoft say, and this is just a small improvement, which if you are using um, Windows Copilot on the desktop may be a step in the right direction. Microsoft says they are trying out a new hover experience for Copilot in Windows. So when you move your mouse cursor over the Copilot icon on the taskbar, it will open the Copilot pane. They also mention that the Copilot pane will close unless interacted with after it opens. This will begin rolling out slowly over the next few weeks to Windows Insiders in the beta channel. So this is gradually being rolled out on a controlled rollout. So basically at the end of the day in the stable version, as you may well know, you can't just hover over the Copilot button. You have to click it. Now, I personally, I like to click it because there's quite a lot going on in this corner. We've got our show desktop um, and we've also got Copilot. So um, put in a hover experience. I'm not too in favor of that. So I certainly hope Microsoft gives us a toggle to turn that off. And this is a very similar feature to what we get for the widgets because widgets by default, if you hover over it, opens up the widget board with your newsfeed, your widgets and so on. So it seems now that Microsoft is taking the exact same feature, which is found on the left-hand side of the taskbar when you hover over your widgets, and is now starting to roll it out to the right-hand side where you've got your Copilot to the right-hand side of your taskbar. So if this does make it to stable, when you hover over your, if the setting, we hope, if there is a setting, is enabled, um, when you hover over the Copilot, it will then open up and launch a co-pilot on your desktop automatically and as mentioned i certainly hope they give us a toggle like we do over we get on the widgets board where if you head to your settings you can toggle off open widgets board on hover and you can see now with the widgets that has been removed and i actually have to click on it so i hope they roll out the same functionality when that does roll and if it does roll out which i think it will to the stable version and then over and above that there's also another fix for search where they fixed an issue where the search highlights icon in the taskbar uh, could get out of sync with the search highlights for the day. So that's more or less what's happening in the beta channel for this week. As mentioned, I think because Moment 5 has now making its way into the stable version, a lot less going on now in the beta channel. But nonetheless, that's more or less what's new um, with ball 22635.3276. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.